Welcome to Ja Advisory. Master yourself, master the universe. Hi there, welcome to another Ja Advisory video. In this video, we're going to make hand sanitizer for Thieves Essential Oil Blend and talk about how we can use essential oils for other things. And you can see a few ingredients here in front of me. Before I get started, I want to make it clear this is not an ad. No one's paid me to do this. I actually needed to make a Four Thieves oil blend for myself and I wanted to share that with everyone. Most importantly, to mix your oils you need a bottle. Some people like the blue bottles but I believe the amber bottles keep out the most, the most frequencies of light that can be damaging to the oils. Our first ingredient is alcohol. I opted for overproof rum, so this is 63% alcohol. Most hand sanitizer has around 60% ethanol, and this one is 62% ethanol. And I actually prefer ethanol to isopropyl. I feel like isopropyl alcohol smells a bit too medicinal. It smells like a hospital. Then we also have our Four Thieves blend here, which I'll get back to. We have a carrier oil. I chose jojoba. You can also use vitamin E oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, any oil that's safe for your skin. And lastly, I have glycerin. Glycerin is good for your skin. Your skin actually contains glycerin and it also improves the consistency of whatever we make. It makes it a little thicker, more gel-like. So you can also use primarily glycerin if you want to have a gel hand sanitizer. But I'm going for a spray, so I'm using liquid. The Four Thieves blend is special because it's fabled to be over 500 years old. Thieves were rumored to have doused their bodies in this blend of oils or a blend like it while they could enter the homes and steal from dead bodies that had the plague, and they themselves wouldn't get the plague. Now, I don't know if any of that is true, but what I do know is that all of these oils are very powerful. They all have antimicrobial, they all have antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties, which basically means they kill anything bad. The five oils that we'll use are clove, lemon, cinnamon leaf. The recipe I had called for cinnamon bark doesn't make too big of a difference. I think the bark is a little stronger, but this still keeps plenty of its antimicrobial properties. Then we have eucalyptus, and lastly, rosemary. The recipe calls for 40 drops of clove oil to 35 drops of lemon, 20 drops of cinnamon, 15 of eucalyptus, and 10 drops of rosemary. If you want to scale that up, you could use 2 teaspoons of clove, 1.5 teaspoons of lemon, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, 3 quarters teaspoon of eucalyptus, and a half a teaspoon of rosemary. Da, 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 da. Now that I have my mixture, I have a small blend here. I put most of it in this dropper bottle, and I like this because you can drop a single drop at a time. That's a very important because it's a strong oil and you don't want to use too much and or even put it on your body if it's not diluted enough. So now that I can easily measure my blend, I can mix it with other things. Here I've made a spray. So this is fine for your hands. Something I did notice is that it's a little strong, so I placed it on other areas like on my feet or on my back, and it started to burn, which means I didn't dilute it enough, because these are all very strong oils that can be overstimulating for our skin. So it's very important to note that you want to dilute your oils enough. I'm going to go ahead and add some more carrier oil to this. The proper ratio, and I didn't do this the first time, the proper ratio is about four to one carrier to thieves. That means you want to put about one drop of thieves to every four drops of carrier oil. And 
shake it up. Ideally, you should shake before every use so you get a nice homogeneous mixture. That means you won't be spraying one layer or one type of oil at a time. The glycerin you can add as needed. You can add it to get the, any consistency you want. I don't want it to be too thick, so I'm not putting it in this spray this time. So what else can we do with this Four Thieves? You can diffuse it in the air. I like to put a couple drops in an aromatherapy burner with a candle or an electric one that you can plug in. And then you're getting this purifying mist in your atmosphere. You can combine one drop with every ounce of water to make a cleaning solution that you can spray on your countertops, on your floors, and so on. You can make a topical oil that you can rub on your skin, maybe even use as de deodorant. The blend that I just made, theoretically you could use it topically, and it's fine for the skin. I can sanitize my hands with it fine, but in more sensitive areas, like the areas you use deodorant, it kind of burns. <laughs> so we don't want that, we want to have a nice oil that's safe for our skin, and at the same time will be effective in killing bacteria. With that said, these are only five essential oils. There's so many out there, probably one for every plant that exists. And many of them have antimicrobial properties. So we can trade out most of these for any, anything else that has strong antimicrobial and antibiotic properties. So you'd want to make sure that anything you trade it out for also has similar properties. Some other oils that we can use are tea tree, frankincense, peppermint, oregano, thyme, basil, there's so many others, lavender, there's so many other great oils that we can, that we can use that have strong healing properties and strong antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties. So you can really adjust the mix to whatever your palate appeals to, whatever scents you like the most. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed learning about how to use these oils for their antimicrobial properties, to make our own hand sanitizer, and how we can make anything else that we have a little stronger, like hand soap, uh, shampoo, anything like that. Thumbs up this video if you liked it, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.